confuses a lot of people, and I'm going to watch the time because I do want to take a 10 minute break at the top of the hour so y'all can get up and kind of walk around. I think they're warming up the room a little bit. Either that or I'm just up here jumping around and I'm starting to warm up a little bit. But um, the internet confuses a lot of people because, you know, Twitter, right? right? I mean, people look at Twitter and go, oh, we're going to talk about Twitter tonight as well. <laughs> Facebook, right? I don't really know what to do with Facebook. And what I, what I like to, to tell authors is that think of the internet as one big networking event, right? You walk into a room of a million people, in the case of Twitter, and where do you start? Well, you start where your market is, right? If you have a yoga book, you're probably not going to walk up to a group of contractors and go, hey, you want to buy my yoga book? Unless you're trying to get them all zen. You're going to go after your market. You're also not going to go online and say, I wrote this fabulous book. Would you buy 10 copies? Right? Or, or to, an, uh, to, an, uh, to a marketing event, to a networking event. You're going to go and you're going to get to know somebody. You're going to pass out your business cards, take notes, find out what they do, ask questions, eat the bad lunch, right? Listen to the speaker. You do the same thing online. The internet, you know, the internet is great, obviously, for, for scams and spam and all this other stuff that just makes us crazy. I won the Euro lottery this morning. Woohoo! Congratulations to me. <laughs> um, but the internet has also allowed us to get and go an inch wide and a mile deep into our markets, right? And it allows you not only that, but there is such longevity online. And I'm going to talk to you today about how to put those pieces into place. And it allows, it has literally leveled the playing field for everybody. Mm -hmm. So there is no competitive bookstore shelf space. You can get on to U onto USA Today blogs and, and New York Times, and I'll, t I'll tell you how to teach you how to do that in this class today. So understanding, first off, who are you, who's your target? Who are you going after? And you might have several different targets, right? You might, because most books or many books rather, can have multiple markets, right? I've sold this book to businesses. I've had businesses say, well, I know that you wrote this for authors, but I said, you know what, it's, it's scalable, it's applicable, right? So you may have a main market and then sub-markets.